Wow, that was terrific, Jessica. It was good for me, too. Ah! <laughs> got, got you again, Quagmire. You said you were that waitress from Friendly's. I lied. You jerk. I didn't feel anything, but you did. Happy Halloween. Gotcha. Ha, hepatitis C. Joke's on you. I already got it. Meningitis. I'm a carrier. Gonorrhea. Patient zero. You're gonna have to do better than that. I don't know, Joe. That's it. We're out of known diseases. Oh, no! My Luna Bar for women! Please call the DWP. I'm stuck in here. Hey, Quagmire, you know that stray cat we got in our neighborhood? The pregnant one? Yep, she's having her kittens right now. <gasps> oh, no way. Yep, making all those high-pitched meow, meow noises and everything. I love them already. Yeah, but Brian's been eyeing them pretty good. What? Yeah, and I gotta go to work now, so I hope he's not, like, hungry or nothing. This is your captain speaking. We've discovered a shoe bomb on board. We're gonna have to return to the turn. I'm a virgin, Joe. I don't want to die a virgin. Help me, please. Let me have sex with Bonnie. <sighs> I guess so. For my friend, on our last day on Earth. You're a good man, Joe Swanson. That was your first time. Oh, I've had sex lots of times. I just wanted to have it again. <laughs> Screw you! Uh, what does Xerxes eat? Rodents. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ah, oh, what the hell? Ah, 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 Peter, make him stop! <laughs> Hey, what do you got going on down here, Quagmire? You, you got a you got a rodent situation? Uh, no! Well, Xerxes seems to think there is. Get him off, Peter! Admit you got a rodent in there. Peter! Admit it! <laughs> oh, you scared him out the front! Tony, come back! Boxing is a rapidly growing part of the field. You should consider your wife competing for a belt. Well, she did look like she knew what she was doing up there. Think about it. Here's my card. <laughs> what can I say? I really like watching her box. That means two things. Hey, you guys, you remember those hot homeless twins who live under the overpass? Well, last night I got... Wait, 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 Quagmire, let me cover Stewie's ears. And this is the hand that caused all the trouble. <laughs> got your nose, little guy. <laughs> Doing great. Now roll it. What? No way. Don't worry. You're a quagmire. It's in your blood. Grip it and rip it. Okay. Atta girl. Perfect. No, 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 we're not doing that. I got my daughter with me today, you perverts. He's not doing it today. Ah, shoot. Another time. Probably got his kid with him. Great to meet you all, and I'm looking forward to getting to know you while we're here. Dude, put your pants on. Get it. Giggity. Giggity. Lois, oh my gosh, hi. <sighs> How you girls doing on popcorn? I'll take some. Here you go. Oh, look, here's a simulation of what it's like to have sex with Quagmire. Hi. Bye. Everyone sees me as a woman. Oh, no. This is the universe giving me what I deserve for being such a pig all the time. From now on, I'm gonna do things differently. Men are jerks. Let's swear off of them and find comfort in each other. Come here, you guys. Mm. Yeah. One of the kids had a nanny cam hidden in his room. Come on, let's do it on your son's tiny bed. Hurry, he gets home at three. Okay, it's later than this. Yeah, yeah fa fast forward ahead. Forward, forward, keep forwarding. Is that woman gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah, she's fine. We're having brunch after this. God, I look huge. Yeah! Let go, right. Carter! Get some! Get some! Hey, Joe, that's like right in my f***ing ear. Hey, Peter, do you mind? But I have to get dinner. Go out. Time to reel her in.
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Ah, it's too much, too much. My father in the hospital? I was hoping that while I was gone, you could look in on Susie and Joe. And go have sex with Quagmire! Quagmire! Oh, shucks, you can't blame a guy for trying. Giggity, giggity, giggity! <laughs> Happy birthday. Hey, hey, where's that pinky going, huh? Where's he going? What, what's he do? Get back here. There you go. Hey there, sweetie. How old are you? Sixteen. Eighteen? You're first. Mom! I like where this is going. Giggity, giggity, giggity. I'm attracted to another man. Giggity? It's Meg's boyfriend, Anthony. Giggity. Peter, are you having trouble getting ready? Yes, obviously I'm having trouble. Well, somebody's got to have sex with me. Lois, don't say that. Quagmire will show up like the Roadrunner. It's okay, your vagina's just a painted on hole. You're still here? Yeah. After a wonderful night, I, I thought we could get some breakfast. <laughs> Clearly you're not familiar with how this works. Here, let me help you to the door. You're a jerk, Glenn Quagmire! One of these days, you're gonna get what you deserve! You better put something warm on. You got an icicle forming down there. Dumb broad left her electric tampon warmer. Did you have sex with this underage girl? I don't want to go to jail, but I really want to take credit. Quagmire, I'm afraid you're under arrest for statutory rape. <sighs> all right, but let me just send the pictures I took of her last night to all my friends. Uh... Oh, yeah! Boom! You're disgusting. Take them away. We've got all the awesome evidence we need. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Oh. Hi, Angela. I'm Peter's friend, Glenn Quagmire. Uh, thank you so much for having me in your home. And um, I would have had sex with you, but Peter neglected to tell me that you are a complete dumpster fire. <laughs> Some friend, huh? Okay. All right. Take it easy. You see, women are a lot like Saturday Night Live sketches. Lots of them are awful. Some are decent. And a few are pretty good. But then there's that one. That one woman who's as amazingly perfect as massive head wound Harry. Quagmire's father, decorated war hero, Lieutenant Commander Dan Quagmire, is now a woman. You're kidding. No, and I'm not crazy about the name change. What is it, like Danielle or Dana? No, Ida. I had sex with her! What? I had sex with her at the Marriott! Oh, why? I didn't know! I didn't know it was her! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Would you mind giving me a lift home, buddy? Hi, I'm Classy. All right, let's get this going, Sweet Cheeks. You got a handkerchief? Uh, yeah. Good, ball that up and stick it in your mouth. Uh-huh. Now, what else you got there? You got a stapler? Uh-huh. Uh, I am. Okay, why don't you go ahead and stick that in your mouth, too? Uh. <coughs> How about a mouse pad? Uh-huh. Yeah, go ahead and roll that up and stuff it in there. Did you get a packet from HR when you started working there? Uh -huh. Okay, I'll take that as a yes, and I'm pretty certain you know what I want you to do with it. Uh -huh. Okay, you think you can fit anything else into your mouth? Uh -uh. All right, so now let's start filling up some other places. Chris, could you please get Hannah a thank you basket and schedule her next appointment? I'd like to see her again in two weeks. Of course. Mr. Quagmire can fit in you at 3 o'clock a week from Thursday. That works. And you know to fast the night before? Yep. And would you like to leave your panties in the fishbowl for a chance to win a free lunch? Good luck. When are you going to do that drawing anyway? Oh, there's no drawing. I just like smelling the bowl. You know, you're doing a great job, Chris. Why don't you jerk the rest of the day off? Man, this is the best job ever. And to think I almost took that pop-up restaurant gig. Hi, you hungry? <laughs> Gemini. Oh. Capricorn. Oh. <laughs> well, I know you're not a Virgo. Ah. Hey, from down here, you look like a Pisces. Ah. We open today's bidding with this pair of panties confiscated from a prostitute. Fifty bucks. She had nine STDs. Forty-five bucks. And when we caught her, she wet herself. Fifty bucks. Hey there, sweetie. How old are you? Sixteen. Eighteen. You're first. Mom! I like where this is going. 
giggity, giggity, giggity. That's it, except for the flight crew. Hey, hey, Brian, what's with the Johnny Law routine? Say hello to our newest narc. He's a natural. Oh, yeah? How, how good are you? You're back from Manila. You had lumpia for dinner. Then you made love to two Filipino women. And a man. You mean three Filipino women? <laughs>